Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for today. It's going to be a full body workout. I am planning to sweat and work hard. My first exercise today is a burpee. So for this exercise, what I'm going to do is squat down, hip feet a little bit more than hip distance apart. Core already pulls in tight to support my back. I'm going to squat, put my hands down on the ground, jump my feet backwards so I'm in a plank position, core still held tight. Push up, jump your feet forward, hands lift, spring up to the ceiling. That's one rep. Two. Three. Four. Five. Headband, <laughs> go away. Next exercise. You're hydrated. Next exercise is hip lift tap. Okay. For this exercise, I get to lay down on my mat. And you can either keep your arms down at your side or lift and hold. But what you're going to do is hip lift. So Pull your core tight, use your lower abs to lift your feet and heels toward the ceiling, and then you're going to tap your toes. One, two, and you're not using your arms to push, it's all core. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, shoulders stay relaxed if you're doing this version. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Next exercise. Next up is rocking oblique V-ups. Okay, so for this one you get to stay laying down. Hands can come to uh, prayer position at your chest. And what you're going to do is you're going to roll side to side. So you can roll um, onto whichever side you like first. I'm going to roll left and then you're going to do a side crunch so that your legs lift, upper body lifts, and your love handle area, your obliques are really working. And then roll back. That's one. Roll to your right. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make sure you breathe. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, five more, 16, 17, 18, 19, last set, 20. 
Whew, those are tough. Did they work your obliques? Certainly did. <laughs> Next exercise. Crunch plank. Okay, so this one's new. It's a little different. Um, when you go into your plank pose, you're going to slightly turn your fingertips in toward each other. Not much, just a little bit. What you're going to do is you're going to lean back on your heels. So bring your glutes toward your butt and you're going to twist. So you're going to come forward, twist. So your knees turn left and then come forward, twist. That's one. Two. So bring your butt back. Come up so that you're in your plank pose and then bring it back. Three. And those knees keep twisting. Four. Five. Six. I'm going to adjust my mat a little bit because it's getting caught underneath my feet. Okay, so I'm going to go back to five just because I took a break. Okay. So. Six. Seven. Remember, nose and armpit. Eight. Nine. Yeah, you can turn your nose the same direction as your knees. Ten. If you're hygienic enough. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Next exercise. Starfish. Okay. For this one, you get to lay on your belly. Um, kind of like you do with the Superman. Make sure you breathe. <laughs> and you're going to lift your chest, lift your knees, and then you're going to reach your arms and your feet out and tap them down. That's one. Bring it back. Two. And I'm keeping my knees up the whole time. Four, five, six, seven, and my chest up. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Next exercise. Let's do the matrix. <laughs> this is a fun one. Next exercise is called the matrix. This exercise is more advanced, so if it's too difficult for you, you can skip it or you could do a variation. Um, but for this exercise, what you're going to do is take a nice wide stance. Then you're going to come down. Um, so your butt is right near your heels. Right arm can bend. And during this move, what you want to focus on is bending your elbow. If you land on a straight elbow, you risk jamming your wrist, jamming your shoulder. Um, so you don't want to do that. You want to have a nice bend. And then you're going to spring forward. Oops. Reach forward as you come up, using your hips, lifting them, and come to the side. And you don't have to stand up quite that high. Three. Four, lift those hips, five, six, lift in the hips, seven, eight, so almost like you're coming to standing after a fall, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, bend that elbow, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20. What's the variation? Oh, <laughs> the variation. I talked about it and then I didn't do anything. But for that, instead of bouncing to each side, what you could do is um, bend your elbow with your hip down, lift, and then come down, switch sides. Bend, lift, come down, switch sides. That way you're not doing all that bouncing on your arm. But when you lift, you're still working your hips, you're still using your arm, but you get to sit down in between instead of having that pressure, okay? 
So you, it'll go. Are you driving through your heels or your toes when you do that? Heels. Heels, okay. I always um, have a tendency to lift my toes just to make sure that I'm not putting weight forward and activating the front of my thighs because I'm trying to work my hamstrings and my glutes in this exercise. So lift and switch. Bend that arm, lift and switch. Bend, lift, switch, bend, lift, switch. Okay, Next up exercise. one leg squat twist. Okay. So for this exercise, you're going to squat down again. If your Achilles and your calves are really tight, this one may be a little bit difficult. Um, so the goal is to squat all the way down, hands touch the floor, and then you're going to squat, lift, reach one foot through, come back, reach the other foot through your arms, come back. Now, if your hips aren't flexible enough to get this low, you can just do that from your normal squat position. Just try and keep your back straight, fingertips touching, and you can just tap through. Tap through, you can lift your fingers as needed. And then try and slowly stretch out your body so you can get down, okay? Um, but that's what it looks like. Here I go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. They're tougher than they look. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Halfway done. <clears throat> 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, only five more, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Next exercise. This is the last one of the set. Camel twist. What was it? Camel twist. Mm. Okay. So for this exercise, what you're going to do is come on your hands and knees, pull your core in tight. This is a variation, so you're going to lean back, tap and reach. Bring it across. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, I need to stretch. So down dog it is. And that was one round. So I'm gonna repeat this. The breakdown will be on my blog, just like it always is, benderfitness.com. Plus there's over 250 other free workouts. So I hope to see you there, check it out. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new workout. 
Have a good night.